after two silver medals, you got your hands on gold, and it's probably the happiest you've uh, seemed all week. Really pleased with that final? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I could have gone. I like to be a bit faster, but that's, that's me. I always like to be a bit faster. But uh, yeah, it's a great race between me and Murdoch, and uh, great pals in this. Definitely going to be a really good one to watch it come off. Both 100, 200, and 50. It's going to be head to head. What a dash for the wall as well. How do you prepare yourself mentally? Do you kind of take any, anyone else into account, or is it completely focused on yourself? Um, I think that's why I went on the wrong end of the heats and semis. The heats and semis, I was kind of like, I was thinking of the outcome rather than the process. And tonight, I just went for that process and it turned out really good. So I, cu I couldn't really, mentally preparing, it's just thinking of this process is for me, catching the water, just hope for, hope for the finish. So, last year's British Champs was a real breakthrough meet for you. This year has taken it to another level. You must be really looking forward to getting stuck in again now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this gets me, gives me new motivation for the next, next cycling to Commonwealth Games. Got some more international meets abroad and uh, training at the moment is just, I'm just fired up now. It's just fired all, all the buttons for Commonwealth. So.